What is cognitive psychology? Cognitive psychology studies our mental processes or cognitions. These mental processes that cognitive psychologists focus on include memory, perception, thinking, and language. Some of the main assumptions of cognitive psychology include the following. One, internal mental processes such as memory, thinking, reasoning, problem solving, and language are important features influencing human behavior. Two, the human brain is like a computer. It receives, interprets, and responds to information. Three, people's problems often arise due to faulty or irrational thinking, which can be traced and often remedied using cognitive therapy. What are the strengths of cognitive psychology? A main strength of cognitive psychology is that this approach has tended to use a scientific approach through the use of laboratory experiments. A strength of using laboratory experiments is that they are high in control and therefore researchers are able to establish cause and effect. A further strength of the cognitive approach is the useful contributions that have arisen from this approach. For example, many modern types of therapy are based on the cognitive approach. Understanding cognitive processes allows us to help people to improve their cognitive processes, such as memory and language. Furthermore, the cognitive approach has become the dominant approach in psychology, particularly since it has become allied with neurology. The cognitive approach nowadays is often called cognitive science and is able to provide a very sophisticated understanding of how the brain processes information. What are some of the weaknesses of cognitive psychology? A weakness of the cognitive approach relates to the validity of measuring cognitive processes. We can only infer what a person is thinking, and therefore the cognitive approach relies heavily on self-report measures and observation. However, because of the developments of brain scanning techniques, we are able to record the active parts of the brain more accurately nowadays, and cognitive science is providing a more and more detailed description of how cognitive processes work. For example, Brain scanning techniques are giving great insights about how memory works. It has been argued that another weakness of the cognitive approach is that it leads to a reductionist and mechanistic description of experiences and behavior because of its reliance on the computer analogy. Reductionism is the idea that complex phenomena can be explained by simpler things. The cognitive approach often takes this narrow focus and ignores social and emotional factors which may impact on cognition. However, the reductionist approach does have strengths. An advantage of the reductionist view is that by breaking down a phenomenon to its constituent parts, it may be possible to understand the whole. This type of single-mindedness has led to some great discoveries in psychology, as it has in the natural sciences. Another weakness is that since laboratory experiments are often used, research is low in ecological validity because the situation is too controlled and therefore doesn't relate to everyday life so we need to be careful when generalizing the results. I hope this video has been useful for helping your understanding of cognitive psychology. Be sure to check out some of our other videos for information on other approaches to psychology. Thank you for watching.